Okay. Go ahead and capture the smart ball between your forearms. Okay. Open your hands up though. Good. Here you go. Okay. Now keeping the smart ball in your forearms, how are you going to throw that thing to me? Show me. Good. Do it again. Okay. Now here's the neighbor's fence. You don't like the neighbor. It's six foot high fence. Throw the garbage up over the fence. There you go. Keep that in your forearms. Okay. Wait for me. Up over the fence. Awesome. Okay. Get that gentle squeeze on there. Throw it up over the fence. Whoo, look at that. Okay, cool. Now, turn your chest to where the target's down there in golf. You got a golf ball right here. So you're going to turn this way. Good. Okay. Got that gentle pressure in there. Now, what I want you to do is put a little bit of sway of the smart ball in here. I mean, not, not smart ball, but the weight, right? Feel how that weight can give you a sense of rhythm. And then you're going to give me this. Toss it up over this neighbor's fence right here. Ready? Go. Good. Okay. A little farther. Up over the fence to me. Good. Okay. Narrow base. Okay. A little rhythm. Good. Okay. Now, hold on one second. Won't give you a club and a ball quite yet, but I'll give you a ball to kind of look at. Narrow base. Right? Get that little sense in there. Now, let's go ahead and throw me a smart ball up over the fence. Awesome. Okay. So eyes rest on the golf ball. You know where the fence is. You know where you're throwing the garbage. Awesome. Okay. A little bit of rhythm in the weight of it in your hands. Feel that rhythm. Dynamite. So, example, come over here, right? I could have this thing in here, left hand, right hand. Here's my here's the weight of this in my hands, right? You notice how that didn't? I'm not going this way, am I? So there's a sense of weight, yep. countering that weight, add in some rhythm of a golf club. He didn't even flinch. No. <laughs> okay, come on back over here. Getting the sense for that? Yeah. Good. Yeah, so a lot of imagery here in your mind's eye, right? You got this green med ball. Okay, here's your neighbor's fence. Miss a few, hit a few. Narrow that stance up a bit for me. Right? Good. Hit some, miss some, whatever. Feel this. Okay? Don't move. Right? Okay? Yep. These arms, let me have the club for a sec. Good. You still hold that. Okay, good. Now let me put your arms on your body. Okay. There. They're on your body now, right? Yep. Now bend for bend down, stand up. Good. Bend down, stand up. Get the ball between your arms. Okay. Ready? Your arms are on your body up here, not the smart ball on okay. your tummy, right? Bend down, stand up. See how your body's leveraging your arms yes. up? Okay. Good. Now I'm gonna turn you over here, narrow stance, right? And now, as we make a backswing, stand up. There's no reaching yes. off the arm. That's the club will pull, but you don't reach. So, you know, and you see a good player in a follow through, and he looks like this. There's nothing reaching about that. And if anything, they're actually holding back yes. the weight of this thing pulling them. Right? Now, there's not much, you're a big, strong guy, there's not much weight in that to do that to you, but that's the the event of here's my ball this heavy ball throw it up over the neighbor's fence right that same kind of thing you know we're offsetting the down with the commensurate up your turn play with the imagery more than the the idea of having a successful shot narrow the stance up 
Where are you aiming, by the way? I don't know where you're. Let's yeah, let's get. When I get into this, I typically don't aim. Okay. I'm aiming. Okay. Okay, good, let's do another, same target area. Now let's, instead of these high right hand, weak left hand, let's get these hands on there that are in the neutral-ish. Okay, right hand's there, right thumb's there. Good, now you won't have the need to try to make a face, you know, not, you know what I mean? Yep. <coughs> throw, a, throw, a, throw a ball over the fence. There you go. That's better. Okay. And now I'm starting to see the offsetting, all the downs getting, getting, you know, offset by the opposing ups. So see a few, couple more finger. Now, yeah, watch where you're aiming. Sorry. I know you're kind of going to the right now. So Feet close right together. Here. So stronger right hand, a bit more under. And you don't need a right thumb here, so there should be no squeezy squeezy here at all. Nope. None. That should be just absolutely relaxed. If it's not, if that's not that gentle, we got an issue. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. So that little bit about the right hand. Yep. At address, there is literally. I'm not saying grip it lightly, okay, but no. my point is when the club's off the ground, the club's leveraging into our left hand. Our right hand, there's more pressure from the right hand restfully on the left thumb. Yes. There's no sense of twisting, squeezing. It is, you know, it, you're, you're holding on, but you're, it's not tight. The tightness feels the weight of the club levered into the hand, okay. right? Yep. The right hand feels like this meaty part of the, this chicken leg, that's yep. our left thumb, yep. rests on top that's of our left thumb yep. chicken leg. Yep. Okay, good, you're doing, you look great. So hold on, don't move. Uh-huh. Bit more fingernails. Can you see those fingernails in your right hand a bit more? Yep, good. Okay. A little thick engagement with the ground, but pretty good.